hi, I'm Sam, uh, Johnson Services Director here at Certum, and I've got Megan, who is our Marketing Director here at Certum, and Megan, I know you had some questions about cloud computing and some, like security with that. Um, so, you know, kind of these days, everything is moving sort of towards the cloud. Um, everybody is kind of going towards a remote workforce, a um, working from multiple locations, multiple places. Um, a lot of people are traveling again more and the kind of need for that security and the um, and multi-factor um, and cloud computing is a uh, is a real um, it's a real need real need these days. Um, coming from a services standpoint, one of my favorite things about cloud computing is, like I said, you can work from anywhere. You can do your job from from any place. I can um, if it's a really nice day out, I can you know pick my computer up and as long as I have a hotspot, go out to the park and really um, and you know get my get my work done. Yeah. Um, but with those uh, with those you know things, we do have a lot of security issues that I know you're uh, you're probably concerned about, and a lot of people are probably concerned about. And one of the uh, one of the first lines of defense that that you can do that's really simple to uh, set up on everybody's um, devices and everybody's you know without having to go and set up a VPN or do something you know a lot more technical is just setting up multi factor um, authentication. Um, or MFA or two-factor authentication. Um, it has a few various different names. Okay. One of the one of the probably the best things that I uh, suggest to people is if you are looking at different apps and it doesn't have an option for um, for two-factor or multi-factor authentication, probably probably want to look at some other other options because doesn't mean there doesn't mean it's not a good app, but it means their security hasn't been updated in a while and with more and more um, threats happening these days, you want to take everything to secure um, not only your your business, but also your employees as well, because it opens them up to um, to having their personal information hacked. Um, so with the multi, with multi-factor, what it basically does is there's a few different ways where it works. The most common one you'll see is it will um, send you a text message or a phone call where whenever you set that up, where it'll give you like a code or a number that you put into the computer. Um, that's probably the least secure way for multi-factor authentication to work because it's really easy for um, hackers to actually spoof your phone number. As scary as that as that sounds. Yeah. Um, so one of the more secure ways um, and what most people are moving to um, and some of the more secure apps are actually uh, requiring now is a um, is what's called an authenticator app. Um, Google makes one, Microsoft makes one. There's a few different um, options out there for you to use, and what it does is basically gives you uh, you link it with the app with the software that you're using, and it gives you a code. So that code will really um, will will be what you put in, and so it's not texting you. It has to be that link that you make in the background during the initial um, during the initial setup. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's kind of I mean, that's like the main main stuff with multi-factor, two-factor, and with cloud with cloud computing. Um, as I mentioned, there is some other ways where you can make your um, make your data and your systems more secure. Um, primarily, the probably the most well-known one would be setting up a VPN. So that is where the traffic is. Um, it goes through. Um, it actually goes through a secure connection. You can set up to go through a secure connection. So if you're, um, you know, you're at an airport, you're at a coffee shop, you're at a on like a public, um, a public Wi-Fi connection, it will actually take and make that connection secure for you. So it, um, so it, so it makes it where there's not as many uh, chances for vulnerabilities that can happen. Um, it does, it does require, you know, some going in and actually like setting it up on the on the devices and it take and it takes a little bit of extra work from the from the employees and everything, but it's one of those things that once it's turned on, it stays there for the um, for the entire time that they are connected to it. Okay. Um, yeah. And yeah, as we kind of like talk about here, like everything, I mean, obviously all this stuff is security, everything is gonna be, is my opinion, we have, there's lots of different ways you can do, do security and stuff, but hopefully that kind of gave you some uh, some good insights into kind of like why, why, multi, why we wanna do multi-factor and you know, with that move to cloud computing and why it's so um, so important. Yeah, definitely helped. Have any other questions on uh, on multi-factor or cloud computing today? I think you answered them all. Thank you for your uh, for your time today, and um, and as always, um, you know, if any questions that you have, I'm always happy to answer. This is Sam and Megan from uh, Startup Solutions. Bye. Bye.